Hi guys, I'm Adrienne Madden with Adventures in the Schoolhouse, mother of four and your one-stop shop for everything homeschool. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Adventures in the Schoolhouse, and like, comment, and subscribe, um, as well as turning on those bell notifications so that you get weekly updates on our weekly thematic lessons and read-alouds, and come join our adventure. And today we are going to do a reading of Star of the Sea, A Day in the Life of a Starfish, and it's by Janet Halfman, illustrated by Joan Powie. So here we go. All right. Starfish, Star of the Sea. Stars blink in the night sky above the rocky coast. Beneath the crashing waves, another kind of star clings to the rocks with hundreds of sticky tube feet. She is an ochre sea star, the common starfish of the Pacific Ocean. As the high tide rushes in, sea star crawls onto the shore to hunt. Water flows into an opening in her top and she pumps the water into her feet making them work on the now flooded land. She inches along, twisting her flat body like a pretzel. Her mouth is on her underside and she doesn't have a head or a tail end. Tiny red eye spots at the tips of her rays tell her light from dark. She leads first with one ray, then another, heading for the mussels growing halfway up the shore. All around her, the shore has come to life under the refreshing tidewaters. Sea animals wander over the rocks and graze on algae. Sea anemones open like flowers. Crabs scoot out from cracks between the rocks. A sea star tries to grab a limpet for a snack, but the limpet quickly covers its shell with its slippery mantle. Sea star can't get a grip. She gives up and continues on her journey. Suddenly, a rock beneath her teeters, flipping her upside down. A, f a fish swims over to nibble at her soft tube feet, but not for long. Like a circus acrobat, she folds over two of her rays and grips the rocky shore with her sticky feet. And here she is folding over two of her rays and gripping with her sticky feet. She somersaults, landing right side up. The fish doesn't like her tough, spiny top and swims away. Finally, Sea Star reaches the mussel bed. She hunches over a big mussel and grips its two shells with her strong feet. The tug of war is on. As she tries to pull open the shells, the mussel struggles to keep them closed. Here he is, trying to stay closed. But Sea Star won't get tired. Her many feet will work like a relay team, with some resting and others pulling. Soon the mussel shells opens just a crack. That's enough. Sea Star extends her stomach. Here comes her stomach, guys, right out of her mouth and into the tiny crack. Slowly, her stomach turns the mussel's soft body to liquid right inside the shell. When Sea Star is done eating, she pulls her stomach back in. Only the shell of the mussels are left. All night long, Sea Star feasts on mussels. When the tide starts to flow back to the sea in the morning, she is still eating. She finishes the, la the last of her muscle, then heads down the shore toward the sea and home. But she waited too long. The edge of the tide soon passes her by, leaving her uncovered on the shore. 
Without water, her two feet will not work for long as she feels for a crack where she can hide and stay moist. Keen eyes spot her from above. Uh-oh. A seagull swoops down and snatches her. The hungry bird lifts Sea Star high into the sky by one ray, gripping her tighter and tighter till chomp, the bird bites off right through her ray. Ouch. So she lost her ray, guys. The sea star drops onto the seashore, startled but alive. The seagull is left holding only a ray. Quickly, sea star slides into a moist crack between the two rocks. She is safe. In the afternoon, when the waters of high tide flow onto the shore once again, Sea Stars completes her return home. At the ocean's edge, she crawls under some seaweed to rest. With time, Sea Star's lost ray will grow back, but for now, she will continue to hunt with four rays to the rhythm of the tides. All right, guys, so at the back of the book, there's all kinds of non-fiction fun facts about these amazing sea stars which we learned are echinoderms they don't have a brain but they are phenomenally amazing nevertheless so even though they can't think they have some pretty incredible traits like having five rays right that they can regenerate do you know a sea star can regenerate their rays all of them so if they broke all their rays off they could actually grow back every single ray and my son is feeling like he he wishes he was a sea star right now because he broke his arm <laughs> and he wishes he could regenerate that that arm of his um, we also learned that on each arm or each ray there are many tube-like feet and that is how they walk so they actually walk on their tummies it's kind of it would be funny to have feet on your on the underside of you which is their their tummies um, we learned that their stomachs come out even though they seem quiet and peaceful and innocent they're actually fearless um fearless predators and they will send their stomach outside of their bodies to go and attack and eat prey that is twice the size of their body so that's pretty incredible they could not swallow and eat the prey that they can um with having a stomach inside like we do so they have these stomachs that they're able to send outside um so i think that's about it there's over 2,000 species of sea stars that live in salt water in the oceans. And it was just so fun today to get to read Star of the Sea, A Day in the Life of Starfish with you. And remember, each week um, we are doing weekly read-alouds um, with thematic units of study pre-K through fifth grade. So we have a read-aloud each week with a whole lesson plan for you. So be sure to um, join us on our website and download our lessons and join our videos on our YouTube channel at Adventures in the Schoolhouse and subscribe today to come join our adventure. And if you haven't gotten down to the tide pools yet, um, check out in Dana Point, the Ocean Institute. They have hands-on learning with sea stars and, and sea star tanks, as well as fun videos that you can watch and field trips that you can take for a fun adventure and learning. So come join our adventure at Adventures in the Schoolhouse.